Well, welcome back to Intermittent Nonsense. Canadian XYZ at the helm yet again. And as you can see, playing Hogsworth Legacy, Hogwarts Legacy, Hogsworth. Like, that's a very different thing. I haven't had too much to drink, promise. Hmm. But I like what I'm drinking. Uh, anyway, Hogwarts Legacy. And, okay, unless I have gear to dump, which I don't know if I do. Hmm, looks like I might. Oh, unidentified. Yeah, we got lots of slots. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, we're all right. Okay. Well, I was going to go after that quest chain of getting my own shop, but I think for now I'm going to do one of the main branch quests. Something about meeting Lodgok at a mine and finding a mitt to uh, and Amit is evidently back at the castle so yeah I'll just go there quick like ah, you know we should maybe just quickly pick up the other quests while we're here I think it's just that one right because like there's yeah that's the one I'm expressly not going for today. Mostly because I don't know how long it'll take. But that's all right. Sorry, I've been a bit of a stranger. Meant to stream, uh, I don't know, a couple nights ago now. But, uh, <laughs> came down to find the PlayStation unplugged. And then figuring out where it had gotten unplugged was more time and noise than I wanted to make at that moment. So had to wait a little while to play. Anyways, where am I going here? Next next path. Just quickly picking up a quest, and then we're going to go pick up a mid at the castle and go and find Lodgok at some mine. And I'm assuming there's going to be lots of goblins to fight or some such dealio. Don't know. But apparently this Hufflepuff needs a hand. Pardon me? Might I ask a favor of you? Hello. Well, all Is right. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Sacharissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Oh, no. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. Are you sure you're not but supposed to be in Slytherin? I only want to help the less fortunate. Okay, maybe not a Slytherin. Uh... Go for the nice answer. Nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. Oh, dear. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I it's found out soap. the key ingredient, Booba Chuba Pus. Well, Booba no, do some people grow do actually generally struggle with acne. However, if only I Sometimes, could pay though, it's to just a few for me. teenagers are not always known for hygiene. What precisely are booba tubers? Disgusting I'm things, really. I'm thinking of Booba Stuber, the villain of one needs Commander King 3.5, the one the with pus. the uh, vegetables. They smell simply awful and seem to move on their own. And if you've never played I that go game, near the things if it weren't for my I devotion to my I think it's part of the Commander King collection on Steam. How on earth did you discover that booba tuber pus clears one's skin? One cannot rely on spells for all appearance enhancements. I don't know, I'm pretty the good with the wand. for example, could relocate one's eyebrows entirely, rather than merely thinning them. Mm -hmm. My darling and now perpetually surprised While we're talking, neighbor discovered have that we discussed her own. your hair? Poor thing. I am convinced that beauty potions are the future. I'm forever looking for ways to make this world a more beautiful place. I suspected that if pure booba chuba pus could cause boils, an altered form would likely reverse such abominations. Okay. And I was correct. I mean, I that can is try and find kind of for you if I have the time. Sort Marvelous. of. How we? I'd go do myself, some but medicines. I don't want to. I only need a few booba chubas, but they grow wild. 
So you'll have to look around. Great. Uh, you know I'll what? I think. I'm counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Well, I'm going to. Enter the forbidden forest for booba tubers. Mm, I hope it's worth the risk. We're not going right now. That's what I wanted. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Ah, uh, grab some of that too. Rumor requirement needs some. Uh... Always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Anyway. The one annoyance with Hogwarts Legacy is the fact that it'll bump you off of a quest. I want to speak with him in the castle. Whoops, that's the level. Could go to the room requirement right now. Don't get distracted, Kit. Gosh. Terrible. The astronomy wing, you say? Well, let's head there and enjoy the loading screens while we're at it. I might drink it tonight. Innocent Gun, the original. Love this stuff. Sorry if I'm a little uh, salty today. Once in a blue moon, I trip over songs that just wreck me emotionally. <laughs> and uh, I had to drive. Uh, I didn't have a chance to go to the scout camp this weekend. My daughter did. Uh, but I agreed to be like the ride home for her and a couple of her friends uh, in the scout group. And so there's me in the van, the three of them across the back seat. Uh, and they are just jamming every Taylor Swift song they have. Well, every Taylor Swift song that Apple Music can serve up, which I think is the whole library. And somewhere in the midst of that, All Too Well came out. I had no idea this song existed. And it is just destroying me emotionally today. Oh my gosh. This only happens a few times. Uh, the last time it happened was Jimmy Eat World's Integrity Blues. But just, oh... It's a, uh, it's a thing, and apparently it's widely regarded as one of her best songs. I had no idea. I stopped listening to Taylor Swift in like when she was still, you know, a country act. But uh, oof, was not ready for that, and so yeah, consequently, I'm a bit of a mess. And we'll see if that gets reflected in my commentary on the rest of the game here. Hello there. Hey, dude. Oh, shoot, there's a thing. Hello, here. Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? Look, I'm I think involved. He simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Okay, but dude, I'm involved. Chances of danger are high. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. Uh... Oh dear. Lodgok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Rebellion. Well, at least I can do the thing and grab the thing. Thank you for being willing to help me, Amit. <sighs> no. You are very welcome. I'm looking forward to... Lodgok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to... Yes, yes, yes. That. 
get the field guide page. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Why do I keep thinking the map is up there? One of these days I'm going to have to like rip through all these ancient magic hotspots. I don't know if I'll make a stream out of that. Let's go there. <sighs> Still really enjoying this on the Switch too. Funnily enough, not so much on PC. Random thoughts. Right. That texture pop in though, eh? weird lighting changes. Actually, really weird lighting changes. Wait, did I? Oh. <sighs> okay. We can squirrel for a minute. Yeah, it's, it's right here. You know here. what that means. Malin trial. Oh, and there's a... Squirrel. Okay, so what's the deal with this Merlin trial? Revelio. Oh, there's a ball. And then there's a... This is over here. Is that another ball? Oh, that's the mine. Okay. <laughs> There's some over there. What's that? Ooh, stuff. Huh. Just gonna blunder right into a trap, aren't I? Lace wings. Huh. Can't climb over the coal cart. Okay. Ugh, whatever. Where was the ball? It's around here somewhere. There it is. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Are we, are we not rolling? Can anyone see a ball around here? Oh, there it is. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Here 
That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. Stop being you. <sighs> really gotta pull in. Uh, oh, timed out. Come on, come on. Come on, move your butt. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's so tricky after all, man. Good gravy. Woohoo. Done, done, done. Okay. friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Hmm, of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Hmm. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Oh dear, well. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his bastard that. journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. That would help. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. Oh, what dear. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Yeah, Ranrock like recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. Oh, For centuries, is. wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. Hmm. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Amit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I am. Um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. Oh, I imagine certain dialects do. Dear. <laughs> pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. 
Uh, what written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. Oh. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Oh, stealth quests. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I... Uh, well, I'll meet and I can do this. Okay. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. I, uh, oh dear, this is not, I hate stealth quests. Well, maybe it won't be so bad. Revelio. Maybe. Or maybe it's going to be terrible. I don't know. So maybe I'm feeling like I should have done the other quest. <sighs> yes, of course. There you go. Okay. The door is looking at us. It's like a big version of one of those chests. I got a bad feeling about this. I hate stealth quests. As we discussed previously. Kids have left a Bluetooth speaker in front of the TV, so I can't see what my bottom spell is in the spell set. There we go. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Clever. Yeah, dude, sorry, but I'm dragging you into danger here. Okay, hang on, I need to remap some spells here. <sighs> oh. Let's try that. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this thing. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Failure. 
Did I just miss some stuff? No, it's somewhere else. Cool. So that's running. That's doing its thing. I have several different kinds of bad feelings about this. Hmm. Azalea. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Not here. The less you talk, the easier it will be to survive. I've read about minds like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Okay, again with the talking. Mainly our goal here is not to die. I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as Lodgog, to say the least. Watch your step round here. Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah. get us through here safely, Armit. You have my word. But it would help if you didn't talk so much. I'm being watched. I adore. Well, now you're not. Hmm. We won't get through as long as we can be seen by that eye. Hmm. Well, I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Yeah, it's just about 50 times more lethal in here. Let's take a look around, Amit. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. A schematic? They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. I don't think that's going to be a problem.
A lot of different paths this mine can take. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Mm -hmm. Okay, but in the meantime, I think we may need to go back this way. I kind of feel like maybe we missed an important piece of something somewhere. Like maybe up here. I don't know, just speculating. Uh. I don't know if I actually get busted for like Wait for Defindo to regenerate. Well, I wouldn't give for a cup of mushroom tea. I could go for some mushroom soup. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? That's what you're here to figure out. My job is literally just not to get you killed. I thought so. All right, back down the stairs. Let's go. Come on. Do not get a meat killed. That's my job. A meat's job is to figure out what we're hunting for. Wait, is there anything else in this room? Don't think so. Okay, let's keep going. I mean, I love the level design of this. I really do. This is just... <laughs> a lot of love went into making this game. Valia. Come on. Whew, there's a lot of them in there. Such a great spell combo. Uh oh. Oh, this really is too much. Stay close. I've handled much worse. <laughs> Boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Great. Um... Yeah, okay, there's a lot going on in the room here. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Well, again, you are here to do the intel part. 
I'm here to do the keeping you alive part. And sorry, I had to get dragged into all this. But it's how we go. Yeah. Not sure what that did. Seems like it might be important, though. Don't need more Wigan Weld. Well, that's not surprising. Grab the cash. Hmm. Oh, is this the way forward? Well, I guess we'd better finish looting the room otherwise. <sighs> kind of have a feeling I'm leaving some stuff behind, but not really sure. Okay, so yeah, that's there. Can't go that way. And what about up here? Aha! No? There's gotta be a way up there. That's gotta be where that other passage goes to. On me a bit. Let's do this thing. This way. Whoop, not that way. Manifestly not that way. This way. And then we'll just kind of water down here. Through here a bit. Blah, blah, blah. Aha. It should probably alarm me that there's, like, school uniforms here. Kind of makes me feel like I'm not the first one to come this way. But equally, uh... Okay, which way do we go now? I actually thought that was going to be the way out, so... Okay. Well, I guess we go back to the eyeball door and see what we can see. It's over there. Don't know. Uh huh. Can I? Oh, I can. Okay, well, cool. You like some moonstone while we're here. Avelia. And some more clumps. Avelia. More goblins over there. A lot of goblets over here. What was that? Please. 
I'll be quiet. I don't think they actually saw us. How about that? Admit you're a much better door than window. Try to do this without breaking stealth. Just for fun. Oh, shit. That guy's right there. Oh, a mitt. No, just trying not to be seen. Don't mind me. of them are there. Have That's my the problem. Ah. Destructible. Though, to what end, I don't know. Do we? It's how I try to roll. Don't know if I always succeed at that, but you know. Hmm. Bits and bites of loot all around. Wigan Weld potions that I don't need. Some loot up there that I'm not sure I can grab. That's just a few coins. Do I really care? This looks vaguely like a lift shaft, so probably need to fire up a boiler somewhere to get the lift to come down. 
That looks like a big lava pit. Probably don't want to go in there. What's over here? Hmm. Just a chest. A few other bits and bites. Nothing major. Let's wander up this way. Here. Saw that chain getting highlighted, or was that just like a. Might have been just a weird reflection of the light. Oh, but then there's that. Does that bring the lift? Is there a boiler I need to light on fire? Zelia. Maybe in there. Well, let's wander in. This is not good. They're building enormous drills. Bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lord Gok what we found. Oh, good. Does anybody else feel like there's going to be a boss fight in here? Sense I have. I need that a moment to be touch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. Yeah, sorry I'm glad about you that. With me, our mate. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. I kind of feel like there's going to be some big fight before we do. Or maybe Lodgok's been captured outside. Who knows? Avelia. Sometimes how these things go. Avelia. We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. This feels too easy. Something's not right. I don't know what, but something's not right. Does feel too easy to anybody else? Can we please talk about what just happened? Sure. That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. 
I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Gok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. It still feels too easy. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she'd been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank mm. you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. Oh, dear. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Well. Jesus, that a Merlin trial right here? Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. 
Well, maybe we'll finish with one more Merlin trial. Oh, I gotta back to the room requirement, though. Figure something out with that. Revelia. So that's obviously the last one. Rebellion. It's that one there, that one there, that one there. Again. Oh, my gosh. Trials won't get the best of me. There we go. Okay, quickly back to the rumor requirement, and then I call it for the night. But I do want to pull up one of my chopping cabbages and maybe replace with a mandrake. This one, this one, and that one. All right, let's, uh, let's see here. Okay. We'll look into that next time. Yeah, I don't need any more Wigan Weld. Sorry, dudes. Take the Mallow Suite. Cabbage. Okay, maybe I'll keep that as my chomping cabbage. But then we'll run back here. Just need a place for a tentacula. Well, I'll worry about that another time. I think I'm going to call it here for tonight. So thanks for watching. This has been fun. And uh, until next time, this has been Intermittent Nonsense. <laughs>